individual baggage carts can full speeds up to 20 miles per hour with 75 pound payloads over tracks within a terminal complex. A 970 foot prototype system has been developed in cooperation with the Air Transport Association. It is located in DocuCell Corporation's Farmington, Michigan facility. The telecar baggage handling system is based upon the premise that a high capacity baggage system can only be achieved with a steady, uninterrupted movement of single units in terms of time and destination. The telecar baggage system has several unique features. Linear motors, magnetic escort memory, and fixed position switch rail. The motive power for the system is provided by linear induction motors with no moving parts. Individual motors are not required on the vehicle. The linear motors are laid between the tracks, providing magnetic thrust to drive the vehicle. The telecar system will use a magnetic escort memory. It can locate, sort, and direct all telecars while operating at full line speed. The telecar tracks contain no movable switches. The switching mechanism is in the telecar chassis. This permits a single telecar traveling bumper to bumper with others to be removed without interrupting the other vehicle. An in-planing passenger's baggage will be loaded into a telecar at any one of the many check-in stations throughout the terminal complex. The telecar may be manually dispatched or an encoded baggage stub inserted into a reading device will automatically dispatch the passenger's bag to the correct flight staging area. After deplaning at his destination, his baggage can be picked up at any one of the many convenient baggage plane areas located throughout the airport. A basic system serving four airlines, A, B, C, and D, operating from a common terminal, would consist of an interline loop connecting all carriers with pickup and delivery shunts for each airline in its complex. With the addition of high-speed loops connecting the gate positions of airline A, connecting baggage may now be delivered to its departure gates via the interline loop. At the option of participating airlines, it will be possible to move baggage from interline transfer, parking lots, sidewalk check-in stations, and ticket counters to the proper hold area and then to the aircraft for loading. The prototype system, as shown on the schematic control board, is laid out as follows. Two concentric loops, one representing the interline system track and the other an airline in-terminal loop system. There are two side track stations, one on each loop. Both are capable of diverting baggage and inserting it into the system. There are four shunts along the inner loop section. The first three represent horizontal hold areas. A fourth shunt demonstrates a 90-degree vehicle climb and descent. An elevated circular storage area off the main line demonstrates the direct call baggage plane feature. As stated earlier, the telecar has no drive mechanism. The wheels provide no traction as all motive power is derived from the linear induction motor. The component parts of a rotary motor are comparable to those of a linear motor. However, they do not have the same configuration. The rotor or armature of a linear motor is flat and is attached to the bottom of the vehicle. The windings of a conventional rotary motor are full circle. By comparison, the windings of a linear motor or stator are flattened out and assume an infinite radius. The motor or stator is mounted along the trackway. When energized, it produces magnetic thrust. When this thrust is applied to the slider plate or armature attached to the bottom of the vehicle, it provides the motive power to drive the vehicle. The air gap between stator and armature is controlled in manufacturing to ensure efficient operation. The system can operate on conventional three-phase power. Because no third rail principle is involved, the shock hazard between stator and rail is minimized. A submerged weatherproof drive system demonstrates that it's not affected by water, dirt, oil, grease, sand, or other debris. Since each telecar will contain baggage for only one passenger, its size is relatively small, approximately two feet in length and three feet in width. 
two types of telecars are used. Both are capable of carrying payloads of 75 pounds in either horizontal or vertical travel. The castered wheels allow exceptionally short left and right turn radii. The use of chassis retaining wheels permits high speeds. This provides a high degree of flexibility for layout in existing terminal facilities. The telecar baggage system is controlled by an escort memory on each vehicle. The magnetic system used is simple and requires no electronic components on the vehicle. The input signal to the telecar can be initiated by dial, push button, optic, or by baggage claim check. At car loading and dispatch stations, the telecar memory is encoded with the information for the trip to be made. The telecar will accelerate to match main line speed the instant its target space on the main line is identified as clear. Each merged point along the track is controlled in the same manner by electronic sensors connected to the telecar release mechanism. At divert points, read stations are located in line with the passage of the vehicle. When a match signal is detected on a telecar, a special section of linear motor is energized. This in turn activates the mechanism switching the telecar. Roller followers on each side of the chassis perform the actual switch functions by engaging vertical cam surfaces that guide the telecar as it is diverted from the main line. This permits a single telecar traveling bumper to bumper with the others to divert allowing the others to continue without change of speed. This is not possible with conventional systems which require mechanical switches, mechanisms in the track or moving divert arms above a conveyor. Deceleration is possible on the divert line through use of stators which apply reverse thrust for direct braking action. In addition to horizontal drive, the linear motor can also be applied to vertical drive requirements. Additional track sections demonstrate controlled climbing and descending. The latest solid state controls have been applied to the telecar system and an advanced production design telecar system is now in the development stage. With its flexibility and high speed non-stop features, the telecar system will make a lasting contribution to the advancement of the air travel industry for it will successfully meet the challenge of handling the airline, passenger, and baggage crush of the 70s.